Welcome everyone, and thank you for your interest in this presentation. I am Matthias van Este from the lab of Ion Channel Research in Leuven, Belgium, and today I want to show you that trip A1 and trip V1 are two trip channels that are essential for a normal bladder function in mice. Since a combined knockout of these two channels leads to a severe bladder dysfunction with low voiding efficiency. I have nothing to disclose, and I was funded by my own institution to attend this congress. Now, what are TRIP channels? These transient receptor potential channels are ion channels that are expressed throughout the whole body. Some of these are expressed in the urinary tract, such as TRIP A1 and TRIP V1 that are expressed on bladder efferent nerves and are known to be involved in cystitis-induced bladder dysfunction. Their role in normal bladder function remains unclear since the evidence from TRIP-V1 knockout mice is conflicting and the evidence from TRIP-A1 knockout mice shows a normal bladder dysfunction in these animals. We hypothesized that a combined knockout of these two channels could lead to more pronounced deficits in bladder function. To test this hypothesis, we used video systometry. This technique was recently developed in our lab and combines contrast-based X-ray imaging to directly measure voided volumes and residual volumes with the classic systometry to measure pressures inside the bladder. We performed these experiments in wild-type animals and TRIP A1, TRIP V1 double knockout animals, but also in A1 single knockout and V1 single knockout animals. From these experiments, it was clear that TRIP A1, V1 double knockout mice have smaller voided volumes than wild type animals and also shorter intercontractile intervals when compared to wild type animals and also A1 and V1 single knockouts. Even more pronounced was the difference in residual volume after voiding. TRIP A1, V1 double knockout animals have a four to five fold increase in residual volume when compared to wild type animals. Wild type animals, on average, have a residual volume of around 30 microliters, where double knockout animals have residual volumes that amount up to 160 microliters. This leads to an increased total bladder capacity in these animals, that is the sum of the voided volume and the residual volume. The combination of lower voided volumes with higher residual volumes results in very low voiding efficiencies in A1, V1 double knockout animals. These voiding efficiencies are always below 20% in these animals, compared to around 60% on average in wild type animals. We hypothesized that the decrease in voiding efficiency is due to, the, to a sensory deficit because these animals lack A1 and V1 on sensory nerves in the bladder. But we wanted to rule out increased bladder outflow resistance or decreased muscle contractility as a cause of this voiding deficiency. Using this video systometry technique, urethral conductance can be calculated, and this was slightly lower in double knockout animals, but only when compared to V1 single knockout animals and not when compared to wild type animals. To check for a normal bladder contractility, we isolated strips of bladder muscle from wild type animals and trip A1, V1 double knockout animals and tested the contractility in organ baths. In these organ baths, increasing doses of the muscarinic agonist Carbajol were added to the bath, leading to contraction of the muscle strips. Here it was clear that the bladder strips from trip A1, V1 double knockout animals have a normal to even slightly increased bladder contractility ruling out a decrease in muscle contractility as a cause of this voiding deficiency. We can conclude that TRIP A1, TRIP V1 double knockout animals have severe bladder dysfunction with high residual volumes and low voiding efficiency, and this phenotype is not present in TRIP A1 and TRIP V1 single knockout animals, so a combined knockout is needed to obtain the full voiding deficiency. There is no increase in bladder outflow resistance mm -hmm. and no impaired muscle contractility, supporting a sensory deficit as a cause for this phenotype. Mm -hmm.